Receiver position was one of the biggest areas of emphasis for the Tennessee Titans in the 2017 offseason. Jim Wyatt, what do we know for sure about this group? We know for sure that you get Rashard Matthews back, and he led the team, at least half of the team leading receptions with 65 last year and led the team in receiving yards. We know this group has a ton of potential, you know, from first-round pick Corey Davis to third-round pick Taewon Taylor, bringing a new guy in Eric Decker should be a you know, a, another difference maker. And we know that Tajay Sharp is coming back off of a foot injury after a pretty promising uh, rookie season. So a lot of big potential at this position. Tell me a little bit about Eric Decker and the impact that he's going to have in this room. Well, he was a good get. I mean, he said himself it's kind of a perfect storm in the way he landed here. He's been great in the slot throughout his career. He's a veteran, should help bring an extra dimension to the offense and also a, a proven vet and a good voice in the meeting rooms as well. So really fortunate for the Titans to land him. I'm curious to see what his role is going to be and how big of a role he has. The Titans also drafted some players to help bolster that receiving core a little bit. What have you seen in those young draft picks? From Taewon Taylor, we've seen consistency from day one. He's been one of the stars of the offseason, just the way he's been able to catch the football. He kind of found himself in a perfect spot here in Tennessee at a position of need. Corey Davis, really like what I've seen from him from an athletic standpoint, from a physical standpoint. The guy snatches the football out of the air, he catches it in his explosive running up field. This is before even seeing the pads on him, he's looked impressive. So two really promising young players there. How important is the ability to contribute on special teams going to be to some of these guys that are hoping to make a roster spot at the receiver position? I think it's going to be key because some of these guys are not going to be counted on, on special teams because you're going to have some guys on the back end who are going to have to help on special teams to stick. Eric Weems is a receiver by position, but he's a special teams ace. Harry Douglas you know, is a veteran now with the addition of Eric Decker. It's going to have to prove to be valuable in a number of areas. Trey McBride has been a good special teams guy. Can he do enough to kind of stick? I think for those three specifically, uh, it's key. Is there anyone in this group that you're really keeping your eye on? Corey Davis, obviously, first round pick, fifth overall, certainly looks the part. I expect him to make a big contribution this fall. So I'm anxious to see what he does. Tajay Sharp, you know, coming off of a foot injury, coming off of a rookie year where he showed some promise, certainly struggled a little bit at the end, but how will he emerge with some new players added to the position group? I think, uh, you know, Titans coaches are anxious to find that out as well. How many receivers do you expect to be on this Titans roster in 2017? I think five with the potential for six. Richard Matthews, Corey Davis, Taewon Taylor, Eric Decker, and I expect Tajay Sharp to make it. Will they keep a six? I mean, Eric Weems probably the favorite of the other groups because of his value on special teams. It's certainly going to depend on what happens at other positions as well. Certainly a lot to watch at that wide receiver position. That was a preview of those receivers, and tomorrow we're going to talk about the offensive line.